Hi Taurus, Sistiana here to do your new moon readings. A new moon in Leo. Bound to bring some heavy emotions and a lot of playful energy. Um, right, for someone you need to forgive and learn. Forgiving and learning, but I'm not ready to take that, so let us see what comes out again. Um, this is for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know your Moon or Rising sign, please check the link in the description below. I'm not affiliated with them, but I want you about to get all of that information. Um, if you still can't figure it out, feel free to email me. My email address is in the description below. And um, so is my uh, Facebook page and my email address, which... And I also have a link for my PayPal if you feel the need to um, make a donation. All donations are very much appreciated. Um, also, my website is very much updated. I also have links there for the private readings. So, I think that's all the rambling I need to do. Taurus. Okay, so one card for Taurus singles. Single Taurus singles for singles for Taurus. Singles for Taurus. Singles for Taurus. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So Taurus, if you are single but talking to someone, then you are being told that you need to learn to trust. Trust that the person that you are speaking to is giving you the accurate information, someone that you can trust, learn to trust them. And uh, Taurus couples, you have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy beautiful energy Taurus if you are with someone know that the passion is there I'd say that's beautiful okay Taurus let's see what else we got what is coming into Taurus life what is going to be brought in by this new moon in Leo what is being brought in by the new moon in Leo for Taurus The King of Cups. Being in control of your emotions. Or just heavy emotions. The Temperance. Which is the also the sign, sign of Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. And what else? For Taurus. And the Ten of Swords, so an ending. So, so far, and I'm going to pull some more cards here, Taurus. But I feel like you're going to be, your emotions are going to be challenged this month. The patience, you also be needing patience. High, high need for patience here. And this all could be due to a dramatic ending wow okay we gotta pull clarifiers here what's this king of cups why is this king of cups here for Taurus the king of cups for Taurus the king of cups for Taurus king of cups for Taurus So you got the Knight of Swords. So some uh, swift chaotic energy that's going to influence your emotions. It's going to test your emotions, I feel. What about the Temperance? 
temperance for Taurus. Okay. Six of Cups. So something from the past coming back. Um, also to deal with your soul family. So patience is needed. And it's something from the past that's being brought back. And it's causing you to feel like you want to pull your hair out kind of feeling. What about this Ten of Swords? Okay. So then you got the Queen of Cups. So is there, I mean, there could be like some kind of big fight if you are dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But I'm going to pull one more card for the Queen of Cups and then for the Knight of Cups. I mean, the uh, Knight of Swords with the King of Cups. What's this Ten of Swords with Queen of Cups here for Taurus? Okay, we got the King of Rods. So this could be the end of a relationship. All right, remember, this is now for all Taurus. And judgment for the Knight of Swords with King of Cups. So like a karmic cycle coming through. Um, something from the past coming back. I, I really feel like this is a past issue that's coming back. And it's really going to test your patience this month, Taurus. Um, I hope that that makes sense to you. I hope that these messages are of help. And I, I, it's like just ugh, heavy. Leo has got some emotions come into us, huh? So thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Until next time, I hope you all have a great month. Thank you again.